Hello guys! So this is another video with a voiceover as a request from my mom. So ayan, <laughs> magbo voiceover tayo. So I'm starting off by cutting the top part of the cakes to make it even. Para kapag naglagay tayo ng filling sa cakes, even siya. And uh, mas maging stable siya. Today, I'm gonna be doing a two-tier cake as requested by my client. So the base tier would be a chocolate cake with a custard filling. And the top tier would be ubi chiffon cake with ubi halaya filling. So here's my custard filling and my ubi halaya. I'll be mixing my ubi halaya with some whipped cream so that it will act as a guard around the cake para hindi magkalat yung ubi halaya na ilalagay ko sa gitna. Same as sa custard. Because parang masyadong wet or masyadong um, oh, paano mo ba may explain yung consistency ng custard? Parang jello-like siya. So, hindi ako confident na if yung custard lang yung ilalagay ko, masusupport niya yung weight ng choco moist cake ko. So, I just repeated the same process sa tatlong patong ata yan. So, ngayon yung ginagawa ko, naglalagay ako ng dowels sa cake to support the weight of my second tier. And yung ginagamit ko ngayon is yung straws na ginagamit for milk teas. Uh, it's, it's not the classic dowels that you would use sa mga old-fashioned na cakes noon. Ngayon, ito na actually yung mga ginagamit ng mga bakers nowadays because mas madali siyang ikat, tsaka mas flexible siya, mas um, mas ma-adjust mo siya sa kung ano yung height ng cake mo. So, ngayon naman, nagka-crumb coat ako. Uh, ginagawa ng crumb coat is nilalock na yung lahat ng crumbs ng cake para kapag nilagay mo yung final frosting mo, walang mga lumalabas na mga crumbs that will um, parang magpapapangit siya sa final look ng cake mo. So, uh, this step is really crucial, lalo na if you are looking forward to see um, a refined outcome or a refined um, finished look on your cake. So, ito na yung final frosting ng cake ko. So, yung ginagawa ko, kinocover ko muna yung frosting around the cake. That's when I use the spatula to smooth the frosting out. 
And when I do that, inuuna ko lagi yung sa taas. And then, saka ko pinapakinis yung sa gilid. Kasi kung hindi mo lalagyan ng excess yung sa top part, parang magiging uneven yung edges yung sa top part ng cake. So, we don't want that. So, ayan. I repeated the same process as I did with my base cake. So, kinover ko muna yung cake with the frosting. So, pinapakinis ko muna yung sa top part bago ko pakinisin yung sa gilid para mag-form yung edges on the top part. And then, saka mo pakinisin yung sa top part para magkaroon ng defined edges yung top part ng cake mo. So naman ngayon, since my client requested a very dark royal blue, um, I decided to just spray the food coloring all over the cake rather than um, mixing the food coloring sa frosting mismo. Kasi papait yung frosting actually if there's a lot of food coloring. So I just opted for uh, a spray. Kasi if there's bitterness lang naman na sa um, thin layer lang sa labas. And this is a gin or vodka mixture. Uh, one part um, vodka and one part food coloring. And then just spray it all over the cake. Um, don't worry kung may mga client kayong ayaw malasing or bawal sa alcohol. Um, mag-evaporate lang actually yung vodka or gin na nimix nyo sa food coloring. So at this point, nilalagay ko na lang yung final decorations ng cake. Uh, my, my client requested macaroons and like the butterflies and the tiara on top of the cake. So ayun guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, like and subscribe for more videos. Hope to see you next time. Bye!